Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous session, we have seen how to write the routes using the middleware we have seen it. Now let's try to see some more little bit into this uh, in the Express.js. How can we parse the request body and all those things? Let's try to see. So before understanding this one, I want to tell you that how can we differentiate? Now we have successfully did the <coughs> what I can say the routing thing. If you go here, I am able to get this home page and I can able to differentiate between the okay, what happened to this one? Let's try to see app.users and I think yeah, okay. So let's try to run the node server. So let it run. So the node server is started. If I try to open here, so right now we are able to differentiate between the home page and also the users page. So that's fine. So now how can we differentiate between the request methods? That means how can we differentiate between the get and the post request? So how can we do it here in the Express.js? So we can use this app dot use of like this middleware and also in Express.js it provides yes, another type of middleware. So that's nothing but same type of only. So you can use instead of this one, if it is a get request, you can use app dot get. That's it. Remaining all are same only. So this is another form of representing that app dot use middleware, but app dot get and app dot use one and the same. So if you want to use get request, you can use this app dot get. If you want to add post request means you can use app dot post. So this is how you can filter the incoming request both with the URL and also with the request type. So if it is a get request and slash users means it will go into this one. If you have the same thing like app dot post like that means you can use this. Uh, it will go into that next middleware. So this is how we can differentiate between the request methods. Now let's try to do some of the simple thing. So now here I will try to have app dot get and I will use when the user slash add. So when the user comes to the URL use slash user slash add. So I can use request comma res response. So I'm not using the next why because I'm not at all using the next request. So here I don't want to go the request to the next middleware. So here if it the routing matches means that's it. So it has to edit here only. Now here I, what I will try to do is response dot <coughs> send and here I will try to develop a new small thing form and this type this one method is post. So this one is method is post. You can mention it. Uh, oh sorry. So method is post. And here what I will do is I will create a small div and in this one I am creating an input and in down div I will write here button add user okay by default this one is something like a submit button only if you provide button and here form method and we can mention this one as a name username so now when the user when any user comes here slash user slash add to the routing match this will show a simple form that it will have input text and as button so this is method is a post now when you try to do this form submit this form it will submit to the same url with a post request let's try to see this one if you try to see here is this is the home page and here i am using slash user slash add if i try to click on this one and i am trying to submit this user so we don't have any post so we have we have written the URL or routing match with only the get so it is not it will not take the post request but the form is trying to submit to the same URL with a post request now that is the reason we are able to see that add post with the post user add is not there and now here this is a post request and it is trying to submit with a content type application URL encoded format fine the payload it is trying to send is the username which you have trying to enter so everything is going fine now what I want to do is, so for the same URL, I can use app.post when the user comes to user slash add, I can go here and I can do the request and also the response and in this one, let's try to do that console.log post request. Okay, so this is the post request from, let's, let's assume this console.log. And here if you go back and here this is the user slash add and I am trying to submit click on add user so it went to the 
it is going to the post slash add user so what is that we have written okay i am trying to do this console.log of like this right so let's try to use something like response and if you try to see here so it went to the post request here so that means this is the url it has been fired now what i want to do is i want to do in a such a way that i want to catch the username which was sent through the post request normally in our node.js project what we have did so we have used these all event listeners like on end and we have used the buffer so we have pushed all those things into the our body so we have did all those things right in the express js we have an another library or another plugin that is nothing but a body parser using this body parser we can get the request data so let's try to install this body parser so i am stopping this one so here i am installing npm install body hyphen parser <coughs> if you install body hyphen parser so it, it is successfully installed so i am installing it this one as a main dependency not as a development dependency if you go into the package.json so here you will be able to see body hyphen parser now we need to include this body parser here constant body parser is equal to require body hyphen parser that's it so now what i can do here so before after initializing the express so you can you can use it you can add it in the middleware so that this body parser will try to parse the request body for every re incoming request so whether the request can have the data or not so at the every incoming request we are adding a middleware here so we are passing through the body parser so to analyze the request body and parse it according to the problem so now we can, we need to give the different type of body parsers right now we are dealing right now the post data it is trying to send it with the uh, for the url encoded format i have shown you right the content type is uh, application slash x hyphen w url encoded format so for that reason we will use for the time for the first time so url encoded you will be having url encoded so if the data is coming in the json format means you can use the json so like this you will be having we'll try to see one by one first we are getting url encoded format so let's try to take the url encoded format and here we need to pro provide one extra object that is nothing but configuration extended so here this this can be true or false so true means it will be using uh, from the qs library so in order to parse the request body or otherwise if you provide as a extended false you it will take it from the query string library so those are all, those, those are a different thing so you need to provide it as extended false the different ways how we can extra how the body parser extracts the data from the headers we are from the body from the payload so it is trying to we are trying to say so now body dot parser we have mentioned it now in order now we have mentioned the body dot parser that's it so this is also one of the middleware how we have used this app dot use use for every request it will go into this body parser now this body parser analyze the request incoming request it will take the payload or request body that are nothing but url encoded format so that means form submitting form data and it will try to parse the body and all those things and it will prepare it as a json object and it will inject in the request okay in the it will inject in the request object so now if i now when you use this body parser and now if you want to get the data means so you can use console.log request.body in this request.body you will be able to get the data now note that so request.body so by default node.js will not insert anything when you use this body parser only then only in the body the body parser will try to inject this key in the request object now let's try to restart uh, let's try to start the server so if you install this body parser and you are trying to do it so try to it's better to restart the server again now npm start if i go here and let's go start it so here we are able to get it and if i try to add on user so fine let's leave it so we haven't tried anything right here i am able to get an object username asds dice like that right so we got the username and if you want to get it means so you can have something like username like this so this is how we can parse the data <coughs> request body using the body parser now what i want to do is so whenever we got the data here i can redirect response dot redirect so again this one is comes from the express js so in the response the, it will be having a redirect method 
or otherwise we will be adding something like a status code 302 and we will be using set headers or location like that we can add the location so this redirect does the same thing only it will set the header and all those things and here i am trying to do to slash that's it so i want to move it to the home page now if you try to see the output what will happen let's try to see so this is the home page and here i will be trying to do slash user slash add and here i will be adding some data whatever the data i wanted so here if i click on the user so now it has moved to the home page and this is the payload so header so 302 redirected and here it is an application like this url encoded format if you go and see here so i think we may be able to see the username here whatever the username that the user has given through the body parser it has parsed that uh, request body and we have we got it as an object so this is how we can parse the request data so that was submitted by the form we can catch it using the body parser so in this video we have learned about the body parser how to install it and how to capture this form submitted data through the body parser and also how we can access it through the request.body we have seen it. Hope you understood about this uh, body parser thing. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.